Hello my beautiful peeps, welcome back to my channel. Today is Sunday and we have a pretty open day today. So I've been wanting to get some piercings done on my ears. Um, I forgot what it's called, I think it's like the Orable or something like that. I don't even know, I looked at the chart. Um, but I wanna redo my second holes and then I want to get this little part of my ear right here pierced. So I'm gonna go do that today. Tom's coming with me and I'm gonna take you guys with us and show you how the pain was because I've heard it's not terrible but it also is like a lot of cartilage there so I'm assuming that it's not the best feeling in the world. So Tom and I are going to have some lunch and we're gonna take you guys with us. All right guys, so I just got back home and we literally weren't allowed to film while they were doing the piercing, I guess. They just don't do that. So we felt really bad because Tom like started recording and then she was like, no, 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 don't film this or whatever. I guess you can only film the before and after. I'm really red right now, but I will show you guys what I just got pierced, super red. Um, it kind of hurt. I'm not gonna lie like it was actually more painful than I like remembered because With other piercings. I always thought it was like a, just a gun, but this was a real needle So it was definitely a lot more painful than I expected um, But it I didn't even know it takes six to eight months to actually heal so I have to have this I picked out this um, piece here and I have to have this one for six to eight months and then I can change it to whatever I want but I think it's pretty cute it's just like like a line of diamonds so I'm happy about that um but yeah guys so went successfully even though we couldn't record the actual piercing happening but it's okay the next morning good morning guys it is Tuesday I decided on this vlog I'm going to be vlogging my entire week I haven't done that yet so I'm kind of excited so I'm going to be doing some clips of every day of this week which is exciting um this morning i woke up and i got a bunch of work done i had a couple calls um and i'm gonna do a quick workout and then get ready to do some content today so i have some brand um stuff i need to shoot today but update on the helix piercing um it's healing very fast i feel like I used to have a piercing up here and it was horrible. I literally couldn't even like go like this or like sleep on my ear. This is a much better spot than up here. I feel like because I feel like you don't realize how much you use this spot and how much things touch it, especially with us wearing masks now. It's really, really easy for you to snip at it. So this is a good spot. Um, I'll show you really quick what I've been using to clean it. So they gave me this stuff, which I didn't know. This is the new way of cleaning a piercing. It's a spray instead of like the liquid with a cotton ball, which sucks because I remember how annoying that was. This just has like a little spray thing at the top and you just press down on it and it's really easy to clean. So, so far the healing process is going better than I thought. So really quickly, I wanted to show you guys um, these products. I've never tried anything from Drunk Elephant other than their skincare, but they just came out with shampoo this is their well this is their conditioner this is their shampoo there's a body lotion and then they also last night i tried the body wash which is in my shower right here and honestly guys like i'm pretty impressed and then they also came out with this which is a deodorant cream super interesting i've never tried something like this before but i really enjoyed it yesterday and i thought it worked well and smelled amazing it's probably a lot better for you than actual deodorant and then another thing that i got from them was this happy scalp scrub which i'll let you guys know how it is so i have this really weird condition where i get a dry scalp all of the time and it's so annoying even after i wash my hair immediately my scalp is like super dry so i'm excited to try this and i didn't know that you try this with dry hair so you let it sit in your hair after massaging and then you wash your hair so i'll let you guys know this is called the tlc happy scalp scrub all right so now i'm gonna head into my workout and i'll fast forward and film it for you guys i told you before that i use mad fit on youtube she's amazing and she has a lot of really good 
booty lifting workout. So I'm gonna do that with my resistance bands today and film it again really quickly just so you can get an idea of what I do. Don't mind this crate right now. Uh, Tzatziki has been using that um, before she broke her legs. So I'm gonna head into my workout. All right guys, so workout is done and the hair is greasy as ever, but I need to wash it now. But before that, I'm going to go ahead and try this scalp scrub that I was talking about. So you're supposed to do it on dry hair. So it should be super interesting um, and I really, really need it. So I'm gonna try this one by um, Drunk Elephant that I just showed you guys. It's the Happy Scalp Scrub. So it says, before showering, when hair is dry, apply directly to dry scalp and massage. Allow to sit for 10 minutes. Okay, so I guess you just like run it through the hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this. It actually is a scrub. So if you look, I don't know if you could see that, but there are like little beads in it. So I'm gonna put it into my scalp and rub it around. Interesting. It's a very interesting feeling. <laughs> so then like after you can see on my hand there's like little beads on my hand right here and I feel like I need it most right here so I get a really really dry scalp guys like I've had it since I was like a baby and my mom could never understand why I was getting a dry scalp um, I've tried everything I've tried tea tree oil I've tried uh, like prescription shampoo, which is crazy because you would think that that would work and it just came right back. And like, it's literally so itchy all the time. And I just, obviously I use Olaplex because I'm trying to grow my hair out right now. And that's my favorite hair product, but I'm just trying this out to see how it works. It's obviously making me look crazy, but that's totally fine. It really does feel like a, like a scrub that you would do on your face. And then it also says on here that you could use it on your body as well, which is really awesome. So I'm just gonna keep rubbing this into the scalp. And then obviously in the shower, I'm gonna have to scrub a little bit harder to get these beads out of my head. Feels pretty good so far. It's nice to be able to scrub my scalp like this. Rub all this in. And now I look crazy. I'll let you guys know how this works out. And then Drunk Elephant also sent me this Wild Marula Tangle Spray, which I'm excited to try too, just to detangle the hair after the shower. So I'm gonna try that as well. So yeah, guys, I'm impressed with the scalp scrub i thought it was really good my my scalp was like super refreshed right now especially in this area right here i feel like it really worked to like get all that like gunk out of my scalp also because i have so much hair i think it helps to like do that once in a while because like there is like a buildup of product i'm sure back there and underneath and everything and for this style that i did here I waved my hair normally with a wand and then I used my only my front 
curler with my clips while I curled the hair with the wand and then I took these out so it's a little more of a relaxed look but I'm impressed with it all okay so I just completed this quick 10 minute makeup look I'm going to be shooting for some clients for the next few hours I have to film like a scripted thing and then I have to do a bunch of product shots for some brands so that's how my day is going I'm gonna get to that now so I can get through my Tuesday fast good morning everybody it is Thursday I hope you guys are enjoying my week-long vlog it's been kind of fun being able to film a little bit of each day I'm enjoying this um, quick update on the piercing I um, I cleaned it last night and I had some blood come out, kind of gross, um, but everything else is going fine. It's just a little sore right now. I'm not obviously in pain or anything, but it's just like a little bit sore to touch. Um, anyway, it'll be fine. We'll be good. But today um, I am going to a studio that me and my girlfriends go to um, and we do all of our content there for two hours and we rent it out together. So we're going there today. I have a bunch of stuff to shoot. I'll show you guys my, I actually decided to bring a suitcase today because it just makes my life 10 times easier to do this instead of just lugging everything. So I have all my stuff packed here and I'm going to get ready for the day. So Bellamy sent me these new extensions. These are um, the 16 inch extensions. I wanted to try something a lot shorter just to give my hair some more volume and not be so crazy long. Cause like every day I don't really like to have this crazy long hair. So I'm gonna be doing a video just on these guys and showing you how I get volume with my hair. It'll probably be like honestly like an inch longer than my regular hair. So this is my completed makeup look for the studio today. Obviously, I'm not wearing this. I'm just going in sweatpants so I can change easily. Um, but I did add in these extensions, um, which I will be doing a tutorial on very soon. And it's just more for volume. It's not really for um, length. It's just to add some depth and volume to my hair. Hey guys, so I am off to the studio. I think I told you guys before um, that we rent this place out probably like once or twice a week depending on how busy things get. Um, but we only have it for two hours so we try to get in as much as we can. We all help each other shoot, stuff like that. It's really fun and I'll show you guys around once I get there. So this is the studio that we shoot in here in Miami. Not gonna disclose names because it's our little spot, but it's really cute. All right, so just finished up at the studio. We were there for two hours. It's always good to get together with the girls to shoot our content and get some stuff done. Um, I'm just headed home now to get some more work done and I have some phone calls. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much how my Thursday is going. We have an event tonight with uh, Boohoo. I'm gonna go with Jess and um, it's at this little like beach, um, kind of like a beach bar type deal. So it's like a little influencer dinner. So we're gonna go do that tonight and that's pretty much it guys. Good morning guys. It is Friday at 7 a.m. and we're very, very excited because Tzatziki got her cone off, right baby? My little boo boo, yes, we're so happy. We're all so happy, right Bella? Right Toki, yes, yes, we're very happy for her. It's been quite the journey and we still have to have Tzatziki in her crate for another like three weeks. Um, and then she obviously comes out to, you know, get some time for literally like five to 10 minutes a day. It's terrible. Um, we just can't wait to get back to normal. It's been quite rough to 
Toki's just ready for everything to change, right? You want your play buddy back. But we have to take it easy with um, Tzatziki, obviously. And now, sorry, I don't know why this is so blurry. Sorry. And now, um, you know, we have to figure out some sort of solution for Tzatziki. Like, we have to get some sort of ramps around the house. Who is calling me? Anyway, so my grandma sent us like this link to this ramp, which basically just goes up to the couch because sometimes the steps are a little bit harder for the dogs and then the ramps have like a rubber um, base. So hopefully that works. That way she can just get up and down the couches and our master bed um, easier. It's just, I really hope that that works and um, I really hope that everything goes well once we are allowed to have her start walking around the house. It's gonna be a while, but um, it's just been crazy like just to see the healing process. I mean, her wound is completely closed, which is great. Um, but other than that, we just can't take her out yet. Um, just listening to the vet's rules, so that's where we're at with that. So today I have an early appointment. Oh, the call is coming again. Sorry, that was Tom, he was asking me what kind of muffins I wanted at Publix because I was saying that I was craving muffins this morning and I didn't really have dinner last night. We had an event with um, Boohoo last night, me and my friend Jess, so we went to that and it was just like a bunch of appetizers. We didn't really eat much, so I'm like starving this morning. Um, but anyway, today I have an appointment and then um, I have a photo shoot at 4.30, so that's how my day is going. But I am going to wrap up this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed me doing this like you know, week long vlog. It was really fun for me. I'm gonna do this more often, just kind of showing you how my week is going. And let's just give Taziki one more congratulations. Yay! Congratulations, my little poo poo too. Yes, you good girl. That's a good girl. Say hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Be careful. Hi, YouTube. Hello, YouTube. We love you. Oh, look at that face. Look at that face. <laughs> As always guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video, comment down below, start a conversation with me. Thanks so much guys and I'll see you in my next video.